Let's take a look at my favorite way to multiply two polynomials, the box method. I like this method because later on when you move over to factoring, this box method lends itself to a visual form of factoring that I find easy to understand. Let's get into it. So I have two binomials. So each of my polynomials in this case has two terms. So I'm going to do a two by two box. Next, we're going to write our terms out. So across the top, I'm going to go 6x and plus 7, one term for each column, and then we're going to take the other one and put it along the side, one term for each row. doesn't matter which one you put on the top and which one you put on the side, it just has to have enough boxes to match the number of terms you've got. Next, we treat this like a multiplication chart. 2x times 6x, 2 times 6 is 12, x times x is x squared. Let's keep moving off to the right. 2x times 7. 2 times 7 is 14, and I've only got 1x. Let's go to the next one down below. I've got a minus 5, and I've got a 6x. Minus 5 times 6 gives me negative 30, and I've got 1x. And then our last pair, we've got a negative 5 and a plus 7. Negative 5 times plus 7 gives me negative 35. I've got it all visually arranged in the box, but that's not the form I need to see it in. I'm going to rewrite it out. I'm going to take each of those terms, 12x squared plus 14x minus 30x minus 35. All the terms that were in the box, I've now written out. I'm not quite done because i got to check for some like terms. You notice right here and right here, those are x's. Once you get good at this, you can probably look right at the box and you can see that those two terms were like terms. And it's often going to be that pair that are like terms. Let's put those together. Now, 12x squared, I don't have any other like terms, so I'm just going to write that down as 12x squared. But that pair, plus 14 and minus 30, should give me minus 16x, and then I've got a minus 35. And there I have my two polynomials multiplied out. Let's write out our steps. Start by drawing your box. And it has one column for each term in your first polynomial. and one row for each term from your second polynomial. Next, we fill it out like a multiplication chart. Last but not least, we collect the like terms and write out our final answer. Let's do one more. Once again, I've got a binomial times a binomial, so I'm going to make a two by two box. Write out my terms, 3x plus 4y, I'll put that along the top, and 2x minus 7y along the side. Let's multiply them out. 2x times 3y, 6x squared. 4y times 2x gives me 8xy. 3x times negative 7y gives me negative 21xy. Just as a little tip, I rec always recommend putting your variables in alphabetical order makes noticing like terms a lot easier as you move forward. And last two is 4y times negative 7y gives me negative 28y squared. Let's have a quick check for like terms. I have a pair right here. They're both xy's. I'm going to be putting those together. So I'm going to rewrite all of these terms from the box. Now 6x squared doesn't have any like terms, so I'll start with that one. Minus 21 and positive 8, those are both xy's, so that is going to give me minus 13. Don't forget your x and your y. And then that last term is minus 28y squared. I just multiplied two binomials. This method also works if you have any other types of polynomials. You just change your box. In this case, I've got a binomial, because it's got two terms, and a trinomial. I'm just going to make my box 2 by 3 or 3 by 2, doesn't matter which order you do it in. Let's put our polynomials in. I'm going to put my 3y plus 4 across the top. I'm going to put my y squared minus 2y minus 7 along the side here. As I multiply things out, y squared times 3y gives me 3y cubed. y squared times 4 gives me 4y squared. y squared times 4 gives me 4y squared. 3y times negative 2y gives me negative 6y squared. Negative 2y times 4 gives me negative 8y. 
3y times negative 7 gives me negative 21y. And last, minus 7 times 4 gives me negative 28. Let's look for any like terms. I've got a pair of y squareds. I've also got this pair over here, of these y's. It's a different pair of like terms, but I'm going to have to put them together. Let's rewrite everything. First of all, i got the y cubed, so i got 3y cubed. Next, I'm going to put together my y squareds. I've got a plus 4 and a minus 6, so I've got minus 2y squared. Then I've got my y's. Minus 21 and a minus 8 gives me minus 29y. And that last term was a minus 28. There is my multiplied polynomials.